Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're yarding the 4BT off the chipper, saving what we want for the engine swap. There's some stuff on this that I just want to save for future projects. I uh, actually listed the motor on Facebook Marketplace. I got a lot of interest. Uh, listed for 3,500 bucks. So at the end of this whole build of this track chipper, what it's going to be months. Um, I'm going to do like a total cost. What it cost me to build this thing, break down everything. I always like those on videos, so I'm going to do the same. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of do a total at the end of today of what I so far have into everything. Um, the new motor, the chipper, blah, blah, blah. I'll break it down. So, um, not going to be a crazy video. We're just going to be yarding this off, saving what we want, and then kind of talking about what the stuff I need to perceive the next future of the parts. So, let's get into tearing this thing off and uh, go from there. But, one thing... I want to save the electrical panel. Whoever buys this doesn't need it. Um, I'm pretty much going to give them the main frame below, um, the engine mounts, and the radiator. I'm going to keep the muffler because I always can use one of those for future projects. I'm going to keep the air cleaner. There's wasps everywhere. Um, I'm going to keep the clutch just in case I need this for the other motor, even though the other motor already has one. So I'm going to keep the whole bell housing and everything. Of course, they can keep the flywheel. Keep the body panels that super handy um it's way smaller of a motor than that one um but you never know i can maybe use this for other stuff and the guy that's buying this he just wants the motor i'll let him have the radiator because the radiator is no good to me the only thing that's good is scrap um but then he at least can you know decide if he wants to try to fix it or get part numbers or whatnot so let's uh let's strip this thing down First, we need a freaking wasp spray. Cause I don't know where all these wasps are coming from, but they're freaking everywhere. It was 117 degrees yesterday. That is like we don't get too hot around here. That was unbearable. So let's get to it. So on these, to loosen the belt, and this will just be easier, um, I gotta do it anyways. If you loosen these up, you can adjust the slide. That's how you adjust the belt, is you adjust the whole motor forwards and backwards on these rails. So pretty sure they're 15, 16, you pop these loose, and then you come up here and spin that backwards or forwards, and you pull it back. So if we pull it back, the belt can come loose, take the belt off, Belt's actually in really great shape. Well, again, makes me feel better even about this 11 hour talk. So, and then I can just, I'll leave this on. I'll just pull this whole shebang off and then I'll get, pry this off later. I already gotta get these motors loose anyway, so let's go grab 15 seconds. Your hands in two seconds. There we go. Hey, 
both back bolts are undone. So you do, you come up here. These are all loosened up here. I just took the back bolts completely out now. Probably could have hurt to... Uh, Mm. That's right. These are like an inch and a sixteenth, I think. So if you just loosen this up, both of these, completely, like that. All right. And then if you get oh, some type of pry bar, I guess. I can wiggle it around a little bit, but let's see, what can I pry on? Try to get it to go. Let's see if we can get it to slide this way. Yeah. Move the hair. And I could hook up with like a chain and try to slide the motor back. I only needed to go back a little bit. Just get this belt off. Baby, a little bit more. Ta -da. On this, what I've always done with the clutches is if you loosen everything up, all right, but leave a top bolt and then get your nine year old to come take that bolt off, or it pretty good. Make sure this thing didn't even come off. Mm. Kind of curious if this clutch, if the clutch fork is locked in. That's what they think about. Holy crap, that thing looks brand new. Dude. You guys gotta come and look at this. Look at that. There's not an ounce of powder in this thing. You should see my other one. It looks awful. This is a nice freaking, very nice. Well, I don't think so. I think this whole thing should just come off. Well, hold on here. Yeah, because the ring gear should. Well, let's let's see. Maybe I'm just thinking this wrong here. That's impressive. Maybe this clutch should go on the other one. Yep, here you go. Wow. Yep, that's heavy. Okay. 
so wish me luck. I wasn't called nine year old in, but it's hot. It's already 110 out, so he's hanging out in the house. And I don't blame him. Dude, look how clean that is. I mean, you're talking like that's a dual disc, isn't it? Yeah, twin disc. So, what we need, we need this ring gear here. What well, sucks is I'm probably gonna need that flywheel. But if I take that flywheel off, it's no good to the next guy. Because he needs to go buy a flywheel, so. And then, I bet you that flywheel bolts are not the same, so. I'll just have to remember. I might have to order a flywheel for the other chipper, or the other motor. I do know the other motor did come with a new clutch, though. So I have to pay for it. Stating that. So. Let's take all this stuff off they go from there nine sixteenths So, yeah, that's very nice. Just stuff like that makes you feel so much better about your purchase. So, looking at this, the easiest trip the body panel off. I want to keep the air filter and stuff, so I'll undo it here, and then I'll undo. Yeah, it's gonna rip in the right place. Undo the exhaust. Honestly, I think the exhaust just slips right over this. So I can probably just take the stop body panel off, and that whole shebang will come with it. So really, undo the air filter and do all these bolts. This whole top deck will come off. So let's test that theory. Looks like some half inch bolts. So. Freaking everywhere. Seems not heavy. I'm not Let's see here.
open at all. That thing's heavy. Get out of here, bees. I'm gonna keep this. You never know when you might need an elbow. Alright. So, next on the list is I want to keep a lot of this electronics. It's a mechanical engine, but this has the auto feed system on it. And auto feed, what it is, jeez. <laughs> I've been stung so many times, I'm so sick of it. Um, but uh, auto feed is pretty much when a log's coming in, the motor dies down, it'll stop the feed rollers from spinning. Let the RPMs of the motor and the drum pick up and then it feeds the logs once the RPMs pick up. It's a super handy thing. Um, nine times 10, they don't work. Um, but because this thing's a little hours and I already have it, I wanna try to save it. Um, just like electronic part. This one is kind of an old school, so I might have to upgrade it, but that's fine. So, I'm thinking here, I'm gonna take this oil plug off. Oh. oh, hey, look. That's where they're coming out of. Die, suckers! go. They're everywhere lately. Alright, so it's officially blistering inside the shop, but what we're going to do is going to pull this harness apart here. Um, might take out this um, tachometer that goes in the bell housing. Mike can use that on the other motor. I'm not sure yet. And then we'll just go through it, pull this harness, take anything we need pull this back cover off and then undo the bolts up front take the hydraulic pump off and lift this thing off we got a hook here and then a hook here too so let's uh let's get to it oh, looks like that thing got melted sitting in the sun for so long So the only question really 
is this gear pump here that goes into the timing gear. Will that work on the new motor? Part of me feels like I should just take it out. Most likely it's not going to be any good to anyone else. But at the same time, I kind of need to remember. In here, okay, underneath this cover, there's tons of gears. Does it go from the main crank to this to the injection pump? Because if I take that out, then this motor's no good. Like, it won't run. But I can't remember if, yeah, I don't remember how it goes. Part of me wants to say this has to stay for it to run. I think. To be find out. Um, but other than that, she's ready to go. She's dirty, so I have to it sits all of its life. But uh, I'm gonna cover up all the ports and everything. I'll wash it for the guy. I don't think he's coming tonight now, just because of how hot it is. But here is the chipper in all her glory. It looks freaking uh, looks hideous right now, but. I'm going to clean all this up, start taking measurements, and then part should be up for the Bobcat so I can get this motor out of here and start figuring out how to mount this girl to that. So, well, one thing I'll do some research on is this clutch. What? I don't know. I know the paperwork I got from the auction, this did get a new clutch at one point recently. Figure out what this clutch is ready for. It looks like the same size shaft. Um, and then I gotta figure out the hydraulic pump. And where this can be mounted on this. Um, really the only thing I gotta do to this is I gotta move the, in, the computer and the deck tank to this side. Because this will be the front. And then I gotta build some screens. But this has all the fuel and everything, so really I'm just running lines from that tank over to here. Um, and then I'll break it down in parts, but as of right now, this motor is, if it's not sold by tomorrow, it's gonna be sold. I got a lot of interest, so 3,500 bucks. Um, we're right at five grand into the chipper, the axle, once I find the track part, the axle sold for a thousand bucks, looking like. Um, I'm going to charge half of what the cost of a new one is because it's pretty much new. Um, I'll go to my cousin for one of their chippers that needs an axle. So I'll put a screenshot of what a new 10K Torsten Dexter axle costs for one of these. Um, so next purchase I need to find is the track system. And then, of course, the tongue will be cut off. We'll build a bumper. Whew, still a lot to do. Um, this flywheel, this clutch assembly, depending on which one I keep, one of them will be for sale. So, say a couple hundred bucks to get me money back out of that. Yeah, like I said, it'd be cool to see, break it down and see exactly how much this all ends up costing. Because, I mean, the end goal is to save money, right? So, we're all been there. Um, hoping I don't have to figure out a longer belt system where this motor is going to sit with measurements. It's going to be dang near to the body because the motor is so much wider where that other motor was sitting by about a half inch forward. So I think the belt can be tensioned a little bit more, but you don't want to over tension because then it'll ruin the bearings. So, and then you got to adjust it. Um, it will stay on that platform, pretty much we'll do it the same way. Set the rails on, get it perfectly lined up where the pulley is, yada yada. Um, but other than that, it's coming along. Uh, there's still a lot to go, but you know what, we're getting there. So, um, I don't think I'm going to do any video on this. Uh, Water Buffalo should have a video by the end of this week, just depending on the um, started sealing the tank, I got seal, and then we'll be welding. And so there will be a lot more videos on this coming. Uh, we got the little Honda generator, that'll be a four-ish video, but it'll be something. Oh, and the roller out here, that thing, I don't even know what to do about that. So it has a hot diesel in it, 
And so far what I found out the HOTS is that no one really knows anything about them. And from what I'm diagnosing is the injection pump is shot. It will not build enough pressure to even send field to, re um, to the injectors. So it's getting field to the injection pump, plenty of pressure. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out. That might be some winter project. Um, but yeah, there's tons of stuff.